Everyone's asking, where is Mamba? What's going on? What's happening? I want Mamba. Mamba's back. <laughs> Fam, hold this message finds you all longer spirits. Well, well, everyone's asking, where is Mamba? What's going on? What's happening? I want Mamba. Mamba's back. Let's talk about let's talk about what's going on. And remember, guys, if you're watching, this is the last day of the mystery boxes. My goodness gracious, what are all these boxes doing? That's right, these are boxes that are gonna give you an opportunity to get this GD350. Go on the website, stangmo.com. You don't know what's in these boxes, that's what they call mystery boxes, but they're worth 100 entries to get this car right here. Mystery boxes are, are boxes that contain $100 worth of merch, 100 entries, and a few lucky people will get Apple products, Apple uh, watches, iPads, big screen TVs, you name it. No way. No way. No way, bro. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is insane. Yo. Yo. But anyways, I digress. Let's talk to Mason and Castle's Corner about the Black Mamba. Hi right, guys, we are here at Mason, the Mamba Master Mechanic. Everyone's like, you guys don't like Casper's anymore? I was like, I love Casper's. He's here. I'm here, yeah. 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 With Mamba, what's going on, bro? Well, with Mamba was well, the two other pulleys on um, the downside here for the blower. One of them was hitting the water pump pulley first. Got it. So it's like the bearing backed out of the stock pulleys that were on there. So we went to swap the pulley and we kept having a belt jump off is what we were having problems yeah. with. I don't know if the aftermarket pulley that was put on it or if the secondary either was going bad. Yeah. Kept kicking the belt, kept kicking the belt. Um, it melted that secondary pulley that we put in there. So, um, BMP sent us out to billet idlers. Yeah. There are two billet idlers. There, uh, here's one here. Ow. One there, one over there. Two yep. billet idlers. Then we put the high tension. Um, tensioner belt tensioner. Yep. Put a brand new belt, continental belts. Um, I, you know, Very nice. So we got that back in. I checked all the alignment of all the pulleys that BMP asked me to do. Yeah. Um, they're good. The clearance to that water pump is still very tight. Very that tight. Book tight. Okay. But we, like I said, I checked the water pump. The bearings are good in the water pump. We have no wobble, no nothing. It's got a little bit of wobble, but every pulley's always got a little bit of play. Yeah, sure. Uh, the billet idlers, we got a smidge of play in them, but that's a, it's a bearing. There's nothing we can do about it. But I driven it. Todd drove it. I just drove it again before you got here. And okay. The belts with the air on. So I'm trying to put all the loads. I exactly. Have. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's good, like you said, it'll blow the tires apart, so you really can't. You can't really get on it. Get, yeah, get on it. yeah, but you yeah. You can roll into it a little bit, get the boost up if you want. Sure. That's what I did. That's just, you know what I mean? Well, when I was driving, it, like, just normally it was shredding off. Uh, so. Yeah, well, I don't even know how you made it here. Dude, I, I really it was, you, you it saw it. It took it was, me about an hour to get the Yeah, out. if you guys don't know the backstory, I went to a roll racing event at Madre Fame, got there, did a pull, belt shredded off. Do the belt back on, shred it off on the way home. So of course we bought it to, to Casper's and VMP. Shout out to VMP. Appreciate them. Sent us the billet idler pulleys to compensate for that issue. And then Mason and Casper's put on the new belt, put everything back together. So now we're here, and Mamba's back. The only pulley that's on there. What is that one? Seventy nine. Okay. We never cool. went down. You never dropped it off. I yeah I did. I put it on your um. I put it on the back. Remember I had the to go the seventy two, seventy two mil. Let me check. It's all good because we're not going to race it just yet. So we can. There should be a 72 mil. I think. Because the 79 was the one we went 94 on. What's up, sir? Well, you know what? That's fine. You know what? Let me test the car out. Yeah, listen. Let me test the car out. We upgraded, but. This is the 72 mil pulley. We'll put that on later. Let me, uh, I'll drive the car for a little bit, it's do a couple enough, pulls. Yeah, no, it's plenty fast. It's a 94 car the way yeah. it is. All right. That's that. Let's start it up, see how it sounds, bro. But it, it's a nine, it's a 94 car as it stands, so. around like a chicken Ah, yes. Welcome back, Mamba. So. Yo, again, always a big shout out to Cashman's Corner for all the love and support. But, uh. got louder. He got louder, huh? I'm actually, I'm, we might port the blower too. So, get another 50 wheel. So, I'll let you know we're gonna do that. I'm doing that. I'm looking to check the snout on the blower. All right. And make sure there's no in and out play. I get it. But if they can get it out, check it when there's no, nothing on it. All right. In and out play, up and down shaft play, anything like that. I'm gonna check for that. Yeah, I will, uh. 
I'll tell Con Performance when they do that, but. Uh, I was trying to figure out what caused You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What caused all the issues that we had. Who knows? All the pulleys were good. The AC compression was good. Nothing broke when the belt broke. There was okay. no damage in there. Because they could have took that, you know, the compressor. Yeah. Stuff. It didn't do none of that. There was actually pieces of the belt in the fan, too. So oh, the really? Yeah. All right. So it was everywhere, man. I like that kind of party. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Mamba's back. Gonna clean her up a little bit. Uh, again, we're we just wanted to give you guys an update on what was going on. We had so many issues, uh, you know, with the belt, but now we're we're good to go. More power, more problems. You know, people want to see this race, uh, Hulk. Now, yeah. This will probably this will still win on the drag strip. Probably. This will still win at the drag strip because of the way it's set up, but on the roll, I think yeah. we'll have to see, you know, what's up. She's fast now, boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm, when it's all, I'm gonna, it should be done this week, so I'll bring it here. So, yeah, guys, we're gonna do a, a drive back in the VMP boosted Black Mamba. I uh, wanted to give you guys an update because a lot of people said, What happened to Mamba? Mamba's still here, but, uh, you know, so much time, so many videos we could put out, but maybe I should do two videos. There. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, let's, uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up here and we'll do a driving Mamba. Oh, it feels so good to be back. We are back in the Black Mamba. I love this car. But yeah, it feels good to be back in the Black Mamba. Uh, we, we, did, we do need a cage, guys. I need a cage in this car to be able to compete uh, at events, uh, drag racing events, because we are running so fast. Uh, you know, potentially this car is a high eight second car, low nines with the lower pulley installed. So. If you guys know of any uh, shops or anybody who does really good cages you recommend, uh, definitely uh, shoot me in, in a DM on Instagram, Stang Mode Official, I appreciate it. And uh, it just feels good to be back, you know, whenever I'm back in a 2018 platform, especially the Mamba, because we've been through the journey together from stock, NA, you know, running tens, and now uh, supercharged with the VMP Odin kit to uh, mid nines going for a low, low nines high eights uh coming up here uh you know it's exciting uh to, to always come back to you know your roots if that makes sense but uh yeah odin kid's doing good uh driving the car everything we're still stock motor if you have that people don't know we are a built 10r80 from brett lasala back down in florida um but yeah we we have a lot we have a lot more potential to go so even though hulk's getting some love right now it doesn't mean that mamba is going to keep progressing you know we still have things to do obviously lnm is the premier uh mustang engine building company so we have a great relationship with them they'll be getting their jam and their hands on the mamba again we're still stock bottom end uh we're gonna need to we're gonna to keep up with people like uh boost f-150 and demonology and our friends there we have to um you know keep upgrading and, and provide entertainment because not that 9.4 isn't fast that is fast but to, to keep up with our, our YouTube friends and their builds, we want to continue to progress uh, the Black Mamba, which we will. A little bit of hiccups lately with the Mamba, you know, nothing major. We didn't have the right tires, then we had some belt issues, but now we're all squared away. So, appreciate the support, all the Mamba fans, hope you're happy about this update. And uh, let's let you know, yes, we are pretty much sold out of the mystery boxes. The 350 giveaway ends August 31st, it all comes to an end, but our mystery boxes end probably at the end of the night. Uh, we'll, we'll probably cut them August 2nd at midnight is probably the last time you can get them so definitely go grab them go get them and uh, we'll see you soon guys Whew. tell me that doesn't look mean jeez love this car and it's a composite if you guys it's probably one of the the, the low-key favorite mods of this car 
is so, so crisp. The way it flows here. Of course, we got the four star beat locks. Mamba, yes, I have to know the custom coatings. We're gonna take care of that. I've just been so busy. But. That is a mean girl. All right, you've waited long enough. Let's end the video with some good old pulls. Good to go. We are not on the lowest pulley right now. The kill pulley will save for the drag strip and racing events. We are on E85, so we'll save that for when we drive around. Uh, I mean, we'll save. Um, we are on E85, but you know, we'll save the C85. I meant for when we when we, we race. But uh, yeah, we'll do a couple pulls here. Uh, the car feels good. You know, high T's are 133, so it's a little warm. Uh, steering wheel is not on. We don't have it connected right now. Um, I'll tell, uh, having some problems connecting the, connecting it for this one for some reason, so I'm waiting to get a new mar module from Carbon Bargain. But, uh, now remember, this car is 855 wheel horsepower. Hulk is 844, but they put it down completely differently. This is a 10-speed automatic. This has a drag suspension. This car is lighter uh, by a few hundred pounds. Uh, then the GT500, um, so that helps as well. But the GT500 does have the DCT, so this car is, I think, strictly and better for um, the drag strip. We'll take both out when we get cars. We get cars, both cars done. Uh, we will have Hulk versus Mamba on a roll and a dig. Uh, I'll just tell you right now. I think it's going to happen is this car will pretty much uh, still be better than Hulk at the drag strip because of the 10 speed, because the DCT is still locked. Um, but, you know, that doesn't mean that Hulk's gonna be slow. On a roll, I think the Hulk will take this by virtue of the DCT. You know, at the same time, do I really wanna, I love this car so much, you know, once, I, I wanna get a cage, maybe that's just eight seconds certified. I don't know if I wanna go any deeper because I, just, I do love to drive this car so frequently. Um, because it's such a great car. You know, it has 31,000 miles on it. Um, mid nine second car. Everything is happy, stock motor. I'm not really, put it this way, I don't feel like I'm hurting anything right now at, at, this, at the way it's set up from VMP right now. You know, fuel system, oil pump gears, Odin supercharger kit. You know, we do have the built 1080. We do have all the Steeda suspension. We do have, I had this all outlined in the video. I'll put the card up. But you know, we have all this stuff um, in a way where I, I kind of want to enjoy the car. You know, we're always worried about pushing, pushing, pushing. But I like getting to a point where the car is happy, you know what I'm saying? So.
right, guys. Please like and subscribe. Hope you guys know we are ending the GT350 giveaway August 31st. Get your entries in. Mystery boxes are pretty much done at midnight. That's just a cutoff we have to do because we're just running out of good stuff. But we're going to re-up. We're ordering new merch as this week. Uh, remember, guys, we are a much smaller channel. So we do have to, like, compensate for that fact with our merchandise and things being sold out. So bear with us.